Welcome back, Bulldog Esports fans. My name's Cody, also known as Umlaut A. Um, for those of you who, uh, you know, who care, um, I am, you know, back again. You know, this week we can't be live, which is uh, super unfortunate. So we're really sorry about that. But um, damn that that snowstorm. Uh, anyways, I'm here with my casting partner. How about you introduce yourself? What's up, guys? I'm Unknown HD, and like uh, Umla said, we are sorry about not being able to do this one live. Due to weather issues, yeah, unfortunate. Dude, yeah, definitely some unfortunate weather issues coming in. Uh, you know, probably everybody here got that text uh, about uh, the weather and uh, what's going on with that. So, uh, you know, hopefully classes, uh, you know, you know, we might have a little bit of a cancellation or a little bit of a delay tomorrow. I, I don't know. Knowing Ferris, we might, uh, we might not. But um, you know. <laughs> but anyways, we're here to we're here for we're here for Bulldog e, uh, you know, Bulldog Esports and uh, Bulldog Overwatch. And uh, on screen, you can see our players here cycling through. And um, if if you really wanna you really wanna know, unknown, who are we playing uh, for the first game this week? We are playing. Illinois Institute of Technology. Illinois Institute of Technology. All right, and uh, their team name is the Scarlet Hawks. Um, I did a little, I did a little, little, little bit of scouting uh, beforehand, you know. And um, their their average SR, uh, from what I was able to gather, a couple of their players, I um, you know, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't spy on, you know. But um, a couple of their, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them were private. But for the most part, uh, their average SR was about three thousand. So I think this is a, you know, this is a team that I think the Bulldogs could easily, uh, you know, beat. Uh, you know, they beat teams with higher SRs before. I think they have that possibility. There is a couple players on this team that are actually uh, severe threats against the Bulldogs. So if we talk about, um, there's, a, there's a player on the other team named General Hoovy, and um, he's uh, about a, about a 3,800 SR. So Bulldogs have someone to watch out there for there. Um, I, you know, and they have another, uh, another player named Strix who I can't find out their SR. So, that's what we got. Um, so that's what we got in my, um, you know, my scouting report. So, Unknown, what do you think, uh, you know, what do you think the Bulldogs uh, really got to do here to, um, you know, improve from their, their two losses that they had last week? I don't know. It really seemed like last time we were here, they struggled in the beginning due to communication. There was a lot of flaws that they had because of themselves. But going into the ending of the matches... It was really well executed. The communication was there and everything worked out in their favor. Although it wasn't a loss in the end, they showed that they were, they belonged there. They belonged to face the team and they actually showed up to play. But I hope to see a faster start going into this week. Not that slow, methodical, okay, we'll get there type thing. Let's get right off the start, the, co the confidence level. Let's get the, oh, I can't think of the word for it the aggressiveness like the aggressiveness be very competitive i don't know i just want to see a faster start and more confident start coming from the bulldogs here with well communicated plays yeah absolutely uh you know i think that the bulldogs uh, you know i think their communication has always been good and i think that's definitely one of their strongest points of their team is their communication. So I think the Bulldogs, um, you know, as long as they keep true to that communication, uh, like you're saying, they should have a really good opportunity here uh, to, you know, capitalize here. Like they come off these two, oh, these uh, both of these O2 losses, which was super, 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 super unfortunate. Um, you know, and I think the Bulldogs really could have, they could have won a couple of those maps. You know, some of them were really close and I think the opportunity was really there for them and they really weren't able to, uh, y you know, pull through. They really weren't able to do, uh, what they, what they really wanted here now. Um, so <clears throat> you are still updating. Are you, are you, I am. Yes. I did not know there was an update and I have three gigabytes left on the update. So... <laughs> if we could wait, I hate to stall the teams. Uh, yeah, but if just, I need uh, to sit out the first game, we it's are fine. um we are messaging Ricochet right now. Um, all right, I I am unaware of the update. I did not play it at all. Uh, between the Ash release. Also, speaking of Ash, Ash is banned. Yes, she is banned. Uh, you will not see the Bulldogs playing Ash at all. Um, unluckers. I was really excited That's to see Ash. So um, I wanted to see her in the competitive scene. Yes. Yeah. Scene. <laughs> <The scene. laughs> 
Yes, uh, definitely unfortunate that we will be unable to see Ash. So, um, it, you know, I think, uh, you know, the Bulldogs can maybe go back to the, you know, last week they didn't have Telos. You know, and I think, um, you know, Telos being, uh, in my opinion, the Bulldogs, um, you know, best player when it comes to, I guess, aim. Um, I think he naturally just has the best uh, hand-eye coordination on the team, and I think that really shows when he's not there that the Bulldogs, you know, I think those, it was really unfortunate last week that the Bulldogs didn't have him. Uh, because I think they could have uh, won a couple of the, you know, a couple of uh, maps there, and uh, if he was there, so I think the Bulldogs are going to come back here with a vengeance this week. You know, they, they got knocked down the ladder a little bit, and now that they have their best player back, they should easily be able to to, to grind back up. Yeah, for sure. And I like to make the prediction because you spoke about Telos, the prediction that Telos will be playing a lot of Widowmaker these two games, and I'm predicting Bry is going to be playing the Zen interesting okay what is your thoughts on that um yeah okay so brian the zen and really yes i am predicting this this is my pre guessing to the games i've never done it before but this is what i think is gonna happen okay so you think that all right well um i hate to burst your bubble already but i know for a fact that brian is not brian is not starting in the first game it will be wonder starting um uh, wonder we'll, we'll see is starting <laughs> how much how many how much gigabytes do you actually have left by the way 1.3 1.3 yep almost done okay uh just letting them know the other team is ready to go so i think john was trying to delay yeah, as much I... as possible for us uh thankfully uh you know we got the support of the team going on there so um <clears throat> wonders um, <laughs> delaying for us as well uh so yeah i think the bulldogs really have an opportunity to show that like hey we got beat last week uh we're not gonna get beat this week uh you know over thanksgiving break the um bulldogs didn't uh have a big opportunity to practice uh you know thanksgiving left a lot of uh bulldogs unable to get at their computer um some of them left it at ferris some of them uh were back home and you know just didn't have the time to practice so we did not have a practice this week and i think that this week will uh you know might might show a little bit about how much practice is important to the bulldogs you know maybe they might struggle a little bit they haven't played together as a team um in over a week now or just about a week now because it would have been a week Sunday. Yeah, week Sunday. So um, I'm interested to see how, uh, you know, this, uh, I, I've been hearing a lot from Telos recently. Telos um, has been complaining severely about Goat's Comp uh, in his at least latter play, very high up in Masters, uh, about, like, that's all he sees now. He doesn't see anything else but Goat's. So I'm really interested to see how much uh, Goat's we're going to see this week. If, he, if that's what he's seeing in the competitive ladder, what are these teams going to play? Yeah, I'm very, I don't know, I I'd spoke with Bri earlier today, and he stated the fact that he finds GOATs to be very slow and boring, in his opinion. Yeah, you're using Lucio and everything to get to the site, but it's not a very strategy-based attack. Or, obviously, a, you could use it as a uh, defense, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah... Like, going into it, I like Bri was saying, he said it was a very boring uh, attack. And, yeah, we've seen it a lot throughout this whole tournament coming from both teams. So I'm very curious to see what's going to be the next big meta change. Is it going to be the next season with Ash? Is Ash going to be a part of the meta? I am very excited to see this, especially going into the regular season. Yeah, absolutely. I think the Bulldogs really need to, um, you know, buckle down and figure out what's going to be, because if they are ahead of the comp, um, you know, of the composition ahead of time, I think the Bulldogs will really have a really, really, really good opportunity to uh, come through very early on in the Tesper bracket next season um, and start off on a high note. You know, start off with those wins very early on against some, uh, you know, some uh, very early on in the bracket. You can, you can play against a team that's, you know, way below your skill level and then way above your skill level in the same day. You know, we don't see much of that now that we're towards the end of the preseason here. So the Bulldogs really could uh, end up playing against some, uh, you know, some teams that they're not maybe necessarily prepared to play against. But if they're ahead on the meta, if they can figure out what the meta is and stick to it and uh, really rely on it, I think the Bulldogs really have a good opportunity here to progress forward. Um, so did you get booted from the game? Yes, oh, no. okay. thank you. <laughs> I just um, added just, you back. Just waiting. <laughs> Okay. I like the new profile pictures this time. 
Yes, yeah, the the little um, what is that the one? Anyways, is that um, like a, uh... <laughs> not sure. I don't have that screen up on the screen, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Anyways, okay. Um, yep. Yes, yeah. Um, Bulldogs. Um, you know, I think we can start any time now. I don't know if we're starting. Hey, we are. Ah, and we are starting. So, let's move in here to Ilios. Ilios is our first map here, and uh, what do you think the the composition is gonna be here on Ilios? And uh, let's first, before um. we go into composition, <laughs> let's actually talk about this map type. Uh, the map type uh, here is control. And uh, what do you what do you think about control map types? Like, what do you think we're gonna <laughs> see here? I don't know. I like control map types, especially on Ilios, is a as as we see here, the cop is a Arissa. So Arissa is very good at pulling, and Ili Il I can't speak. Ilios is very good at pushing people off map. So I'm like going with the game mode with the whole you have to go to the control point, especially with this. Uh, is this a uh, lighthouse? I believe. Uh, yes, this is lighthouse. Yes. Yeah, so going into control, control is both teams have to attack one point and hold it for as long as they can to get a percentage to 100 percent to win that round. Yes. It is a best of three. You have to get three rounds, correct? <laughs> yep. Uh, so it's it's first to two. Uh, so it'll be first, first to two. two. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, for what light, this is actually well, not lighthouse. I'm sorry. Um, this is well. well. Okay, yeah. Um, it's the one with the windmill. So uh, the Sarissa Hog comp is very vital because there's a well in the middle of the map that you can actually hook people into, um, or like uh, Arissa's halt them into. And it looks like the Bulldogs are already starting their attack. Yeah, it looks like Arissa is going to be playing that corner here. Is going to be trying to use her orb to pull people in as much as she can. But Bulldogs here are actually trying to take this push for their advantage with Wonder using the Genji from the outside here. Yeah, absolutely. Wonder Wonder getting this nice little flank on the side. Um, you know, it looks like the, the contest is very long ricochet overextending. Let's see what they can do here. Looks like uh, Wonder is trying to draw their attention as much as he can. He's behind them causing a lot of damage, but the hook coming from Ricochet didn't help. In the end, Arissa did pull him over with the Arissa for the Bulldogs on the point, trying to stabilize as much as he can, but Bulldogs will be pushed off and having to be reset. Yeah, just look at most of the Bulldogs die there. That was a late dragon, super unnecessary there for, uh, you know, for Illinois. They, they really didn't need that dragons there at the end. It was kind of a wasted ultimate. They didn't get any coverage off that. Telus did get staggered there at the end, so that could be really bad for the Bulldogs coming into this next push here. Um, you know, not having that, uh, you know, having Telos like, on point is immediately, you know, oh, but coming with the counter dragons. Oh, but Ricochet dying in the process. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs <laughs> Bulldogs are losing them some major plays here, but there's a lot of alts being charged super fast in these fights because these fights are very close range, a lot of damage being thrown both ways. Bulldogs are just struggling to get through that main point. Adam going down, Telos going down. Bulldogs are going to be having to reset, but Illinois is not letting them. They're pushing all the way up, forcing them to be super aggressive, and Milk is the only one away from sight. Yeah, away from spawn. And Milk is not at full health either, so he could very easily get picked off here. But it does look like Illinois does back up and is uh, playing around that choke on the corner. So, Bulldog's going to have to push through here, but Adam is already getting low. Wolf's draining a lot of his health already on this push. It does look like a Counter Dragon's coming in. Telus coming in with his Transcendence as well. Wolf's pushing through it. Looks like the Bulldogs are going to play aggressive here. Yeah, Wonder is going to be using Fair here. He had to switch, but it looks like the Bulldogs are going to be going through with the Diva Bomb. Going to be causing a lot of havoc for the Bulldogs, but in the end, helped them a lot. Adam throwing off. Oh, Adam getting a big kill there. <laughs> Adam taking out the Orisa and the Mech and the Anna, doing a lot of damage for the Bulldogs, causing a lot of havoc for Illinois. Bulldogs will be successful in this attack. All they have to do is remove that Hanzo from the point. And they will be taking this percentage for themselves. Yeah, so there is a Lucio on point as well. And the real the problem is the if the Bulldogs uh, were able to kill that Roadhog and Lucio quicker, um, they could have stopped them before they hit 85%. And as we know, 85% is the golden the golden number for not being able to contest. So the Bulldogs actually can't lose a fight now. They they cannot lose one. Uh, because if they do, it's game over. Uh, because there's no way they're gonna be able to stagger back onto point at full force. So it does look like the uh you know the Bulldogs are kind of in a sticky situation. Yeah, the Bulldogs are going to be kind of aggressive here because they have to keep them off the point. If they lose anybody very critical, they could be very bad for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs making some huge plays. Milk taking out the Anna. Wonder taking out McCree. But Adam is also taking down the mech suit. So Bulldogs are in the end winning this fight, pushing off Illinois as much as they can. Looks like 
Diva will be keeping her mech suit. Taking down Arissa is a very large goal for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are winning the fights back to back so far, charging those alts. Oh, this yeah, is a lot like, going Wonders on. might get taken out in the back line as well. Wonder playing Farah and was battling McCree on the high ground by himself, which is super dangerous because if he gets low enough, you know, that, that flashbang by uh, McCree can really wreak havoc. And it does look like the Bulldogs get very low there from that Dragons, which is starting to initiate the fight for Illinois. Illinois using that big windmill to their advantage, using that wall. But Bulldogs are trying to do as much as they can. Going to try to boop with the Lucio, but nothing coming from it. Bulldogs using the alt from Orisa to charge so much damage boosting, and Illinois just can't seem to destroy it. Bulldogs are making some huge plays, capitalizing on all of them. All they have to do is remove that McCree, and the Bulldogs will be winning the next fight. Yeah, it does look like it is. Uh, Bulldogs will have one last defense here, and it does look like they have Sound Barrier and Farah Barrage. It looks like they'll probably have Diva Bomb as well for the next fight. So, Bulldogs good on ult economy there. Uh, it, I think the enemy Hanzo does have it. We'll have a Dragons into this next fight. They did pick off um, Wonder in that last one. So, we'll see what the Bulldogs can do here. It doesn't look like the enemy team's running dive comp into this one. Yeah, it looks like Illinois is pushing in strong with a Diva Bomb and a Nano Boost, but Bulldogs quickly countering it with Wonder's ultimate as well as anna taking down wonder bulldogs are gonna have to make some huge capitalizing plays here taking down the tracer adam's doing well but the tracer also was taking down wolf at the same time bulldogs are kind of struggling to take down these tanks but milk is very helpful in that point junkrat capitalizing on that winston adam taking down that mech milk capitalizing on that anna bulldogs all they have to do is take down the doomfist and they will have the point and they will win the game but the streaming is going to be coming from Illinois strong here. Yeah, they need to kill that Lucio quickly because he's going to be that main healing on point for people staggering. They need to finish him off, and they're not doing it. They this they had the same problem last week where it's a similar situation, but it does look like the Bulldogs were able to force them off point long enough. Lucio did end up C9ing in the end, so thankfully the Bulldogs were able to uh, secure that objective there. So, uh, super thankful for the Bulldogs, able to pull that one out. It was looking sketchy there towards the, uh, you know, towards the, the end of the, the Illinois' Uh, attack it's very you know, chaotic yeah. yes <laughs> uh, it, i was i was worried the bulldogs weren't going to be able to you know come back they did they basically reverse swept so the the illinois basically had a full hundred percent almost and uh the bulldogs came back and uh came back with their own hundred percent never lost point control there uh so bulldogs really kind of turning things around there really effectively which was really good um i think they should have focused on that lucio that was on the point uh first after they killed that doom fist um there was a tracer coming in on point, and I think their priority should have been that Lucio. But Bulldogs come in here on Lighthouse now, and let's let's see what they can do. A Mercy. Hmm. Oh, it does look like the Bulldogs are running Mercy. Wolf uh, does does flex the Mercy sometimes, and he's not playing Ana, so we'll see what he can do. Going into the fight, it looks like Illinois does have a fair. Oh no, not a. Well, yes, it does have a Farah and a Mercy, so that is a pharmacy setup coming in from the Illinois. Bulldogs are going to be struggling against that. They don't have a really any hard counters directly, but Bulldogs making huge plays on the D.Va. Ricochet was going to get punted off, but used his charge to get back just in time. Wolf capitalizing on the revive on uh, Zarya. Milk taking down Winston and the mech. Wonder as well taking down the baby D.Va. Bulldogs just capitalizing on those plays, taking down everybody needed. All they have to do is take down that pharmacy. Yeah, Tello's putting pressure on that pharmacy as well. He was landing almost every shot on that Mercy, or on the Farah, but the problem is the Mercy healing was just a little bit too much for him. If he misses one shot, um, basically the shot two, a shot or two before it are essentially wasted at that point. So, super unfortunate for them. Uh, but, you know, Bulldog's still winning the fight, which was very good. And it looks like they're coming through here on defense. Ricochet doing a lot of work on Reinhardt, and he's already got 74% alt charge. So, uh, it does look like they're going to have, um, oh no, really unfortunate... Ricochet dies in the process there. Uh, it doesn't look like the Bulldogs are going to be able to capitalize here unless Telos can uh, pop off really quickly. Oh, and he looks like yeah. he... Oh. Telos making some huge plays, <laughs> taking number three and the mech, but in the end, Bulldogs get reset. It's kind of kind of cool to watch Telos try to 1v5, 1v6. Yeah. Um, you know, he could do it if he had a couple of other people that would, um, you know, take a little bit more damage for him rather than uh, him get targeted in the process. But, yeah, Telos doing some some big work there. That's what I was saying. Uh, if he, you know, if he could pop off there really quickly, I think the Bulldogs could have held. But, um, unfortunately, the Bulldogs were just kind of caught off guard there with that Farah ultimate. Uh, that Farah lasted a little too long, and I think um, I think the Bulldogs should have knew that the, the alt economy was there for that for that Farah to kind of have that ultimate charge. Does look like the Winston's trying to, trying to flank there from the backside. 
It looks like Illinois is trying to be super aggressive here, but in the end, Bulldogs are being the aggressor, taking down the people that, oh, I take, take it back. The nano boost will be coming in from Illinois it's on the Winston. Bulldogs will be losing Zarya and then getting revived and then losing Zarya again to a Diva Bomb. Bulldogs having to keep this healing up as much as they can, but the ultimates coming from Illinois are huge plays. So many ultimates being used by Illinois, but that Farah took down three people of the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are going to be reset. All that's left is this Zarya pushed up. Yeah, this is really bad because um, Adam's Zarya play is, is a little too aggressive. Now, I get he's trying to get alt charge here, but every time it seems like he's just a little farther extended than he should be. And uh, he usually ends up dying first in these fights. He's died first in the past two fights. So, um, you know, super unfortunate. And then he got rezzed and killed by the Diva Bomb, which was just kind of unluckers. But, um, you know, the, the reason the Bulldogs lost these first two pushes was because of Adam's death. So, uh, hopefully Adam can play a little bit more passive on this on this hold here as he uh, is at 100% charge already. Yeah, the Bulldogs are trying to get his cheeky pick from the... the I don't even know what that's called. From the little room on the right side. But in the end, Bulldogs are going to have to try to push the opposite lane. Not getting those picks. 93% for Illinois. Bulldogs are going to have to push the site. Try to get some picks if they can. But Illinois is making some huge plays. Taking down Talos, Wolf, and Wander. All that's left for the Bulldogs is Ricochet and the Zarya. But both were taken down. Bulldogs will be losing this... Yeah, this map. Yeah, it does look like they're going to lose the map. Um, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to contest here in time. Uh, the far ultimate uh, freezing out, uh, you know, everybody there. That's really unfortunate there. The Bulldogs lost that one, you know, winning that first that first contest there and then end up losing the map. Uh, definitely unfortunate. Uh, I think the Bulldogs had the opportunity to, to take it to... Um, you know, to come through there, and uh, I think there was definitely some misplays there from the team. I'm not really too sure about that last fight there, but I know the first two fights, as I said before, you know, the reason Bulldogs lost those is they lost Adam very early. Um, you know, I think he was playing a little aggressive there, trying to get that, that charge up, um, and he just kind of forced himself to the right side, and the team ended up pincering him, and, uh, you know, ended up losing that fight. But this this last map here on, uh, on uh, Ilios is much different than the other two so um it's very you know widow heavy and it does look like we're gonna see the telos widow yes the the famous telos widow yes <laughs> very the famous Bulldogs and he already gets a pick up. telos making some huge plays taking out the other widow maker for illinois bulldogs are being super aggressive here they're setting the tone for the map pushing up trying to capitalize on some of these skills but in the end, having to fall back a little bit, no, they're going to be super aggressive. They're going to keep pushing in, doing so much damage. Taking down that Winston is huge for the Bulldogs. Only one tank for the Bulldogs left, but they will be taking down the mech suit. So technically, there is no tanks for Illinois anymore. Yeah, really good job for the Bulldogs there, able to get those stagger kills, especially on that Winston there. Um, huge. Oh, Wolf getting slept in the process. That means little healing for the Bulldogs besides the Brick and Lucio. You know, the Bulldogs are running a pseudo goats comp here, but instead of running a Rhine Zarya Diva, uh, they're running that Widow and then a Winston Diva. So they're running triple support with Wonder on the Brig instead of another DPS hero, and then uh, Telos on the. Uh... Widowmaker, that's the word. It does look like Wolf gets picked off, but Milk killing the D.Va in the process. Wonder dying now as well. Looks like Milk is the only support for the Bulldogs, if I'm not mistaken. No, Ricochet is still there. Uh, support. Oh, support, my bad. Yep, yep. Bulldogs no <laughs> yes. longer actually have any supports on point, and Adam's going to have to fall back, but he does get demacked in the process, which is super unfortunate. Um, it does look like they're going to kill Adam, which uh, I think was a poor decision from uh illinois they i think they could have staggered him they could have left him in um wolf knowing not to peek that widow that widow can uh can shoot and it does look like the enemy widow has sights uh and telos does not yet so uh bad news bears for the bulldogs yeah bulldogs were pushing up as well as they could but ricochet ended up using his alt and then getting slept right away so his alt was completely wasted looks like illinois are gonna be Huge plays coming from the top rope. Bulldogs trying to capitalize on these, but the Genji for Illinois taking down the Ana and the Lucio. No support for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are gonna have to fall back or to make some huge plays here. It's not happening. Telos is getting get at that pick on that Widowmaker, but in the end, Bulldogs are gonna have to keep falling back. Illinois. Oh, is I don't know about that. Super the aggressive. 
Bulldogs are, are we're getting some good picks there. Uh, you know, Bulldogs are gonna have the spawn advantage right now. Adam probably should have used his ultimate there to zone the enemy team out and then remech really quickly because that could have given the Bulldogs enough time to get that spawn advantage back. That was super bad play from Adam. He should have used his ultimate there, um, and I think he I think he regrets it a little bit as well. Tell us getting that big pick on the widow, which kept her off the uh, you know the uh, the Bulldog supports because that widow's doing a pretty good work on the Bulldog support line there. Does look like the Bulldogs are ready to re-engage here, and Jet Ricochet does have his ultimate, so he will be able to throw himself onto the point and contest if he needs to. It looks like the Bulldogs are going to be regrouping here on the left side in the little corridor. They're going to decide when to push. It does look like Illinois knows they're there. They did lose Telos uh, from that fight, and it does look like he is now switching to a Tracer, probably to bar uh, bother the enemy uh, Winnow rather than uh, can fight with him. Bulldogs are going to be using that Nano Boost to try oh, to push that Ricochet to be super aggressive. Bulldogs are making some huge plays, capitalizing on Genji, Anna, and Lucio. Bulldogs are going to be taking down the Mexu and the Diva as well. All they have to do is get rid of that... That, uh, that, that was a maker. huge push there by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs got massive picks. Wolf's on a play there was huge. He had a really big nade there. Uh, he nano boosted Ricochet to help, uh, you know, push him in. Uh, even though he was, uh, you know, he was uh, suffering from the enemy Widow's bio nade, uh, he was able to counter that. Now it just looks like there's a big diva bomb coming in. Oh no! Looks yes, like uh, Illinois making here. some huge plays with the Diva Bomb taking down the Lucio. Winston taking down the Anna. Bulldogs are trying to take on this fight. Wonders making some huge plays on the Diva, but in the end she got out of there. <laughs> Bulldogs are trying to capitalize on the kills, but they have no supports. Yeah, absolutely. Bulldogs don't have any supports, but the nice thing is is that the Bulldogs are still getting kills in the process here. It doesn't look like the Bulldogs need supports. Wonder does die in the process, though, but Ricochet killing that Hanzo. Telos has his ultimate. He can use it to stick on that D.Va. There he goes. Sticks on the D.Va. They can get her really low right now. Get her demect while she's needed. Uh, you know, Bulldogs have a good opportunity here. Telos putting big pressure on that Widow. Telos is making some huge plays here. As you can see, he's trying to be very elusive, trying to cause the time for the percentage just to keep rising and rising. But if Bulldogs allow this percentage to go up, it will be an overtime. Bulldogs yeah, they have are going to have to back fight. Yeah, it doesn't look like Wonder's going to have to throw him on. He is nano boosted as well. Doesn't look like he's going to last very long, though. The, uh, they're able to zone him out. But Wonder doing some good damage in the meantime. He, he's healing himself in the process and getting healed. So, uh, does have Rally now. So, that means he can get back to the point quickly. Uh, and Milk is on point as well. If Bulldogs can get some kills here. This would be huge. Yeah, the Bulldogs are trying to do what they could. But the Anna will be taken down. Telos trying to... Drive that percentage up as they can. We'll try to stall as much as they can. Tello's taking down the mech. Hammond being taken down for the Bulldogs. Ricochet capitalizing on the Anna. Lucio taking down the Winston. Reaper taking down Tracer as well. Bulldogs are losing this map. Yeah, <sighs> super unfortunate there. I think the Bulldogs had some really good opportunities to win that. And they just kind of crumbled in the end. You know, I think that was... There was some really, really good opportunities there, I think, for the Bulldogs to come away with a victory. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, I think there was a there was three situations that at least I noticed of Adam where I think he had some misplays on positioning, which is something. Um, I think uh, other members of the Bulldogs also had some poor positioning as well. So I don't want to put uh, all the blame on somebody, but, um, you know, it is... Uh, it's something that happened, and I think the Bulldogs need to um, understand that uh, positioning is important, and I don't think that they were making smart decisions when it came to positioning a lot on that map. Yeah, it looked like the Bulldogs were trying to be super aggressive at some points, but in the end, when they were being aggressive, yeah, we saw earlier that they took down the two big tanks, but later on in the map, they kept being aggressive, and then we would lose the Tracer, or we'd lose... Uh, another like a support going into the fight and then that would be a 5v6 that causing the bulldogs to be down already and if you lose that support early you have less healing so that fight is going to be 10 times harder to win yeah there's a lot of the like you said communication and positioning was huge yeah i think positioning was was really big there i think there was definitely some poor decisions made from uh the team on on all angles there i think uh you know i really think that they could have uh, played a little bit i don't know um 
I think they they played aggressive when they needed to. I think there there are decisions to play aggressive when they did, and I think that there was some big kills made from the tank line specifically uh, from Ricochet um, that were that were really instrumental to the Bulldogs taking back a lot of points. I think he came in there and finished up a lot of kills, especially as Winston, and uh, did a lot of damage that was able to you know win the Bulldog a lot of contest time, which um, I think was super beneficial. So that's something to look positively towards, and I think the Bulldogs could possibly rely on that a little bit more in the next uh in the next map which is going to be new bonnie here as we transition over um to this hybrid map and um you know unknown what do you uh let's let's talk a little bit about hybrid maps what what is a what is a hybrid map so hybrid maps are when you go to a control point that the other team is defending and one team is attacking this control point when taken over by three ticks allows you to get a payload this payload similar to the payload a game mode you have to push to i believe two other checkpoints and when you get to the last checkpoint you win that map with a certain time that round yep absolutely so it's uh it's basically like a control uh or a two-point assault it's like one point where you just have to cap it like king of the hill whereas uh the defenders get all the time in the world and then the attackers have a certain amount of time to capture that point and then they just have to push payload just like team fortress 2 or something like that so it does look like the exactly. bulldogs are running a dive comp here on assault and new bounty new bounty my least favorite map uh besides horizon lunar colony i uh despise those two maps with a complete and utter burning passion so uh, it does look like the Bulldogs uh, have a good composition for it, though. There's a lot of high ground uh, to be able to dive and maneuver around, so I think this is going to be big for the Bulldogs here. It does look like uh, Milk's going to be on the DPS along with Bry here. Bry getting subbed in for Wonder. So, uh, Bulldog's going to be coming through here. Let's see what they can do as uh, they push through uh, for their first attack here on Nimbani. Yeah, Bulldogs are going to be trying to find which way they should probably be going here with Bry pushing up as that Sombra. Whether they should go up the main ramp or go behind. Looks like they will be going main ramp with the diving ricochet up top. Three of them up top. Diva. Oh, the soldier taking down ricochet in like two seconds. Bulldogs are going to... The Diva's going to have to fall back. Looks like Bulldogs will not be able to push that way. There is a lot of melting going on for Illinois. Yeah, Bry putting a lot of pressure on the uh, the supports in the very beginning, but because there was three tanks all grouped up together, it really didn't matter if the Bulldogs focus fired somebody because they really weren't able to focus fire someone because they're all grouped up up there. Uh, so super unfortunate there for the Bulldogs that that push kind of failed. I think that was kind of like just an unlucker situation, but I think the Bulldogs could have could have planned for that a little bit better. I think uh, you know it's pretty common that that uh, kind of setup is is going to happen there. It doesn't look like it's a dive v dive here with a you know pretty much the same composition here except a Symmetra instead of a. Uh, Brig and it does look like Ricochet kind of just throws himself at the enemy team and dies. Um, I, if I'm going to be honest with you here, it does look like the Bulldogs are running a dive comp into a dive comp that plays super grouped up, and they're really not going to be able to focus somebody out. Uh, you know, I think the the good solution here would be maybe to switch. I don't think dive's going to work here in this situation, and it does look like Ricochet realizes that and switches off to Reinhardt. Yeah, it looks like they're, the Bulldogs didn't really communicate what they were doing there was a lot of dive and oh you went and died type thing so bulldogs are going to be going up the traditional way that most teams do go is up this ramp as usual but as you can see the uh, illinois does hold the other across point bulldogs are going to be trying to be aggressive on this checkpoint down there try to get those ticks but all they have to do is capitalize on some of these kills otherwise they will be getting advantage be taken especially when Telos is getting dived by the D.Va. The D.Va is going to be using her bomb in a useless form. Ricochet definitely capitalizing on that D.Va. Oh, just a big soldier uh, ultimate, ultimate here coming from Milk. Uh, doesn't look like there's oh, an ultimate duel going on, and the enemy soldier wins that fight. But they did lose their Hanzo in the process. And Bryce on point, but he's going to get taken out by the Brigida. Unfortunate. Wolf dying in the process as well. Telos is the only support now. Oh, but he's going to get big kills yeah. himself. <laughs> Telos capitalizing on the Brigida, but looks like the Bulldogs will be losing this fight. 
A lot of ultimates being thrown both ways. Yeah, it does look like a Pelugs do have EMP, though, which is going to be huge uh, to shut down the dive as well. So that, that could be massive for the Bulldogs here for this next fight. Tell us getting some big shots as well. Uh, it, Milk's ultimate there picking off that Hanzo very quickly, which was super smart. He noticed him low, activated his ultimate, used it to quickly uh, eliminate that hero. And, uh, you know, the Bulldogs just sadly weren't able to capitalize. They ended up getting pressured and folded as well. So uh, super sad there that that, that ended up happening. So we're going to... We're going to sit on Bry here for this fight because it does look like he has EMP and he might use it as a uh, little counter mech to stop a dive when it happens. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs are going to be going up top, dropping onto the site. Illinois going to be trying to capitalize on those supports, which they do every time it seems like. Bulldogs aren't protecting their supports. Bulldogs are going to be pushing up. They will be capitalizing on Anna and Soldier and taking down that mech. Blade going to be taking down... A milk for oh. that fight, but huge plays coming in from both sides here. Bulldogs did get a tick off, but with 22 seconds left, makes you question if they're going to even get to the site in time. I am very frustrated at that. Uh, I think, so Telos was getting some big picks. Bry used his EMP. A lot of the enemy team was down, and Ricochet was backing off from the fight. And uh, because of that, he, he stopped off because he needed healing. And I think that was super unfortunate because then Telos ended up dying because he didn't have anything to protect him as well. But those are the Bulldogs are going to push through here with Ricochet on Hammond, and let's see what they can do here. Yeah, the Bulldogs are pushing in as strong, using multiple alts. The grab is going to be in the corner, but it's not doing anything. Nobody's capitalizing on these kills. Telos is getting that mech, but in the end, Illinois is capitalizing on everything. Illinois is taking down everybody off the point, and they will be winning their round. Yeah, Bulldogs are going to essentially have to fold hold here. I... I... I'm frustrated. There was a lot of mistakes there. Um... I... <sighs> I, I guess I can't really speak for alt economy. I think Milk's ultimate was really well used uh, when it came to his soldier ultimate being used there. I think Talos was getting some really big shots, but he kept getting zoned out, uh, especially by that D.Va, uh, especially towards the end there. I had that on stream where, uh, you know, he kind of got pushed out, and he was able to kill the D.Va, but the baby D.Va is just going to kill him because he has 11 health. And I think the problem was there was that the rest of the Bulldogs were having to fight on point, and Talos was getting pushed out, and there really wasn't a lot of peeling for supports, as you were saying earlier. There really wasn't a lot of protection coming their way. Uh, it does look like the Bulldogs are running a typical dive defense here, pretty much a mirror comp to what the enemy was running, except for the uh, Bulldogs are going to be running a Hanzo here. They essentially have to full hold. They really cannot to give the uh, lose a fight they can't lose the fight at all uh so this is definitely high pressure high tension for the bulldogs yeah for sure the bulldogs were like you said positioning was just not there they would dive the site and the supports would stay up top like you'd kind of expect but illinois read that play used the diva to charge both supports and the soldier up top to take down the supports instantly so the anna and or telos which was playing zen was getting quickly destroyed and then therefore making no healing for the bulldogs yeah i think uh yeah I, it feels like there's like a lack of communication going on and i think that's super unfortunate because i think they they had a really good opportunity here to to come back this week and kind of put their foot down and say no and they're not doing that and i think that's uh, really kind of sad it does look like the enemy team has a brig and an ana and it looks like they're running a dive comp of some sorts and it looks like they're gonna dive into the high ground as the bulldogs are getting ready for defense here it looks like illinois will be charging all six players will be up top bulldogs are trying to capitalize some of these kills winston taking down uh brigida and hanzo taking down the genji as well as ricochet capitalizing on the brigida as well Bulldogs are going to have to capitalize on these tanks, otherwise there's going to be a lot of havoc to play, and they will be, as well as taking down this Hanzo is going to be a, very successful for the Bulldogs, only allowing Illinois to get about 25% of the first tick. Yeah, d that's really unfortunate there that Brian's up dying from that Genji. Uh, Ricochet having to play a little bit more aggressive to kind of force him back, but the Bulldogs did a really good job there. I think the dives from Ricochet and Adam were really good. They they dove that that, that brig together. Um, I think their their def their dives are improving as we uh, watch them play today. Yeah, the Illinois is doing some incre incredible plays, diving the top and then driving sight. Bulldogs are gonna have to capitalize and learn from this. With the transcendence, is helping them a lot. But Bulldogs will be focusing on those supports like they need to, but that ultimate coming in from the Hanzo will be pushing back and splitting Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs will be sacrificing and doing well against that.
capitalizing on every single kill. Bulldogs did learn from their mistakes in the past. All they have to do is remove this Winston. Even though he is altered, they look like they will be able to. Yeah, Bulldog's losing some, uh, getting some staggers uh, that were really unfortunate. Oh, that enemy Winston! They, oh, geez, just he's one. Oh, they could have staggered him. They let him get it. That's something you need to punish. They, the Bulldogs needed to punish that. They could have killed him very easily. And um, those look like a nano blades coming in for the Bulldogs. And Telos already popped his ultimate, which means there's gonna be some carnage here. Yeah, Illinois doing some aggressive plays, throwing up many, <laughs> many kills against the Bulldogs. As well as Hanzo capitalizing on that mech. Transcendence coming in again for the Bulldogs. Trying to keep everyone alive as possible. But the Diva Bomb will be taking down Ricochet. He jumps over on top of it. I don't think he knew where it was. But Telos is kind of hiding in this corner with 7 HP. He will be taken down as well as the Hanzo. Bulldogs will be losing round two and the map. Uh, yeah, I think that last fight in the end, I think, was a little bit of an unluckers. They really needed to punish that Winston. Um, that's really unfortunate here because the Bulldogs uh, are going to be losing 0-2 um, again, uh, which is was really sad. I think they could have came back this week and um, shown that they're, they're, not, uh, they're not a team to be messed with. Um, but I think that that last fight, a lot of that was unluckers. Um, but the rest of that, uh, you know, especially on their attack, there was definitely some, some stuff in my opinion that um they did wrong uh, i think they really 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 had an opportunity to <sighs> i don't know i I'm, I'm i'm kind of frustrated because i think there was some some misplays some mispositioning again on this map um that they shouldn't have had um you know i guess from from your perspective what what's something that you noticed uh because i you know i've kind of talked about it as they were playing what's did you notice anything from your perspective that uh you think the bulldogs did wrong i don't know i think you stated it right from the get-go positioning positioning was huge bulldogs were the tanks were super separated from the supports the supports were always getting dived they had no protection the dps just couldn't capitalize on anything because the supports were always dead so they had no healing as well and the tanks just kept getting separated themselves. So the D.Va would be over on uh, one side of the site and the uh, Winston would be on the opposite. And with these separated, they're not focus firing. Focus firing is huge when it comes to a, let's say a dive comp or even a defense in general. If you focus fire and take out, like Illinois did, take out the supports, they have no healing and you can capitalize on every single kill. I think you stated it right from the get-go. It's always going to be this positioning thing with the Bulldogs right now. And as well as a few co communication problems. Yeah, absolutely. I think there was definitely some miscommunications there on when to push forward and when not to push forward, specifically on the Reinhardts. Uh, when Ricochet was playing Reinhardt, I think there was definitely some bad positioning and bad um, decision-making when it came to when to move and when to do different things. Um, and I think that really kind of ended up playing against the Bulldogs because they didn't know, you know, I think this is the first time in a while that they were really punished for every mistake they made. Um, there's a there's a good saying when like uh you know you play against a, a better like a really good high masters team or something or grandmasters or top 500 team they're gonna punish every mistake you made and that's exactly what happened here they were punished on every single mistake they made uh which was super unfortunate um it does look like we're gonna be going into a third map friendly here so this is just gonna be a scrimmage here for the bulldogs uh wonder is gonna be filling in as a sixth for the other team as so they had to have somebody leave for a little bit um so Oh, yeah. Um... That's funny. I, I, <laughs> I like to see it. Yeah. Um, it does. They might reset here. Um, we are requesting to get a third person for this friendly. Um, a third person yeah. for... Oh, I am confused. Yep. Uh, it, we're going to be setting up for third person spec cam. So, like a legit Overwatch... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 but, um... Ah, there we go. I think I have it. I'm confused. <laughs> Why am I in a canal? I don't know. I'm <laughs> stuck in a canal as well. Oh, hmm. there we go. There we go. There we go. Hit F1 I'm twice. I'm still in a canal. Hit F1 twice. What? Oh, this is interesting. There All we right. go, Bulldogs! I've never done this before. This is awesome. Yes, this Why is. Why can't we do this at all? Uh, because uh, Tespa. <laughs> Blame Tespa. 
All right. Anyways, Bulldogs, uh, they're the red team. So as uh, they're going to be going through on attack here, it does look like Wonder is on the enemy team here, and he's going to be uh, he's going to be our little spy. So Bulldogs yeah. are going to come through here on attack. Let's see what they can do. It looks like Bulldogs will be pushing the payload and trying to get across this bridge as much as they can. Do it does look like Illinois does not have a Lucio, so there will oh. be no looping, but the Orisa making some huge plays, throwing off Adam and Wolf right off the start, but that's okay. Looks like the Bulldogs will be tap oh. capitalizing <laughs> on this payload, pushing up well, but okay. I'm guessing we are... Losing that fight right away. <laughs> yeah, definitely some unluckers there for the Bulldogs. Tell us getting a big pick early on, but the Orisa, uh, you know, when you push over this bridge, it's very common to see this Orisa on defense because she can just kind of, like, grab people off that bridge and just throw them into the water, and the Brig can do the same thing. Ricochet almost getting pushed off himself, and it looks like the Brig's going to try to do the same thing to Ricochet again. Doesn't learn from his mistakes and uh, gets gets punished for it. Uh, tell us... Throwing himself off, trying to get a, I don't know, a cheeky shot of some kind. And this, um, they are they need to do something about that brig. That brig just does the same exact thing every single time. She shield bashes, boops into the water. And she's done it to Ricochet twice now. Um, and now to two other people. Ricochet getting a big fire strike onto the enemy Hanzo. So let's see what the Bulldogs can do here. Uh, I think the Bulldogs should bring out a Pharah. I agree with you. To I, think be honest. I think the fire would be would be massive. I think Wonder's the only real counter to it. And as long as uh, Telos can be putting pressure on Wonder at the same time, then uh, milk oh on the fire would be would be huge. It does look like we're seeing Bry on the Zenyatta. Uh, Bry did just make an ultimate. Uh, you know, he he did. Uh, oh my God! Type hide, catch this Arissa has pulled a total of six people into the water. Oh boy. And uh, this brig is booped probably the same amount into the water as well. Does look like the bulldogs are, uh, you know, they're, they're being forced to really kind of hide here. Telos getting picked off now as well. Um, not good for the bulldogs. They, I, what don't they understand <laughs> about how to push over this bridge? Uh, I don't know, but it's very interesting to see. It looks like good. the bulldogs this is what are I going in see. the right bridge. Yes, Sneaky this is what I want like. to see. Because they can't get booped once they're back over here. They can win a fight that's over here and then be able to push through. But the bad thing is, is they've already kind of let the other team build tons of ultimates mm. that they haven't had a chance to use. I wouldn't be surprised if the other team had a full slot of ultimate. Or, well, I guess we can actually see now. Um, the whole team did have ultimates. Or at least their uh, Brig and Hanzo now have ultimates as well. So, uh, you know, they let them build all those ultimates up. And then, you know, their plans didn't work because they kind of just got grabbed. Yeah, it, I don't know what's going on with the Bulldogs right now, but they are just chilling across this bridge. Trying to get an easy pick with Ricochet here, but Ricochet is going to get Almost completely destroyed again. by, you know, guess what, a Brigida. Yeah, <laughs> Almost losing there as well. Ricochet is nano boosted as well. He needs to be playing a little bit more aggressive if he really wants to be able to take full advantage of it. I'm not sure if he was at low health or not. Really wasn't watching. I, was, I guess I was paying attention to the field, but it does look like the Bulldogs are going to be throwing in with a grab on point. does look like Ricochet is dying in the process, but Milk getting two kills in the process, and it does look like a, gra uh, a Rip Tire is coming through here as well to pick off the enemy Ana, which is huge, um, because now the Bulldogs should be able to actually push this all the way that they need to. Does look like the dragons are coming in for... Oh, definitely a cheeky, a cheeky, cheeky dragons there coming in from Illinois. Um, I think that was a really good positioning on his part. The problem is that the Bulldogs, uh, there really wasn't that many of them on cart. So if there was a bunch of them on cart, I think that was that would have been huge. And it does look like the Bulldogs are going to be able to cap this point as they push the payload through. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs have actually learned what they think they need to do, which is a Zarya and a, Rico uh, a Ricochet, basically a Ricochet, on uh, the Reinhardt to get that good push going, and it looks like the Bulldogs will be capitalizing on a lot of these plays here. Pushing yep. up, getting some cheeky picks, doing well. Adam at a good 70% charge right now. He should be able to really wreak havoc on the enemy team if they play a little too aggressive with his beam. Uh, as long as his tracking is on point, he's doing some pretty good damage to that Reinhardt's shield as well. He needs to keep putting pressure on him uh, to make sure that, you know, if his shield's not ready, he, he has to basically play very, 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 very passive. Um, good grab coming in from him as well as he's, like, now just kind of just pummeling this Reinhardt, which they should be able to easily get the kills. Wonders on that... Reaper, though, and he's wreaking havoc himself. He is bionated, which means they can easily kill Wonder, uh, and they're finally able to do so. Uh, the enemy, Ana, uh, kind of the only one left in this. 
<laughs> yeah, Bulldogs are doing very well, pushing this payload even when going against Wonder. <laughs> Bulldogs are doing very well, pushing it. They got the second checkpoint already, three minutes left to go. This is the final point. Now, this point is a lot different. Not to mention spawn advantage is there for the defense. Yeah, absolutely. Even during pro play, though, the hardest point of this map is point A, is capping that first point. And that Ana taking out Milk's uh, rip tire is definitely going to spell trouble for the Bulldogs. Wonder getting very low himself as Adam's pushing through as Zarya. Uh, you know, Bulldogs going to be coming through here with... Uh, going against a with a sound barrier or against a sound barrier against a sound barrier. I'm sorry wolf dying Bry dying Adam dying milk dying ricochet is gonna die here uh, And uh, Telus could probably throw himself out at some point here, but um Oh Unluckers does look like Telus is able to throw himself out, but he's probably gonna get staggered here if he's not careful <laughs> yeah, Bulldogs are getting pushed up. There's a lot of different things happening here. It's very spread out so it's kind of hard to watch everything at once but with this free cam it really allows me to see kind of through a lot of different things yeah so bulldogs are making some huge plays here but they need to try to get these plays towards the payload to try to get it moving yeah absolutely Ooh. milk getting picked there uh, that's some unluckers there for the bulldogs it's really kind of unfortunate ricochet uh you know he's still on point he's coming in he's coming for the charge but i don't think he's got a lot of help there supporting him i think he's only got two other people there on point tell us getting a big pick on the hammond and on the ana but their bulldogs are also losing wolf so they're down heels as well uh you know if they're not if they don't play this smart does look like he's able to pin that Rick, uh, reinhardt out of that grab uh they're killing wonder they're killing the enemy Widow as well. <laughs> Bry doing some big work on Zen. Not something we're used to seeing out of him, is it? Oh my goodness. Something happened where I transitioned off. <laughs> Bulldogs are pushing in. There's a lot of <laughs> defense coming in from uh, Illinois. The ultimate coming in from the Hammond. Bulldog Ricochet is completely separated from his team. Trying to get the healing. Nano boosted as well. Bulldogs are pushing this payload every inch as they can. The charges getting cancelled canceled from both sides as well as the sleep dart coming in but bulldogs are capitalizing on a lot of these kills doing everything they can and they will be winning they will be finishing yes <laughs> are you still transitioned <laughs> uh no all right we're good now okay <laughs> Yeah, just um, just gonna type that in Twitch chat real quick. Um, it's not on stream yet, so I don't think I had it for too long. I was uh, so my hot key for um OBS to transition is actually one of the F keys, and you actually use the F keys in Overwatch to transition between uh players from spec cam. Um, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I noticed so that you can actually do that in this mode, but not the other mode. Yep. So I can hit like uh, I don't know, F eleven. Oh no. Was that the button? Oh, no. I don't know. I can't get on what anybody. I actually have it set bound to. It's not F11. But, yeah, I can't get on anybody yet either. As soon as they assemble heroes. So, they're actually, uh, they haven't even started yet. So, that's what's happening. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, here now we, we can press it. So, we can hit F11. I can hit F10. And I can switch between heroes like that, right? But one of those keys is actually bound to... Um, my transition key so that's why you saw that uh not used to having this third person mode it's definitely something that's uh fun not used to that test one needs to look into um <laughs> well the problem is with it is so like we have this three minute delay right so when we say something it's three minutes until it actually hits you guys right um the reason that is is to prevent uh anybody from cheating so, which is why teams have to approve spectators and why it's locked to third person or first person cam. So that way I can't like view from the enemy team's perspective to like call out alt charges and things like that. So there's right yeah, behind reason, the but it doesn't look like the Bulldogs are running this Arisa comp that did uh, Illinois really well last time. Only this time the Bulldogs will not be using an Arisa, so... Oh, it looks like Illinois Zen, uh... will be pushing up. Zen is, uh, <laughs> you know, it, that's the way to go out, if anything. <laughs> Going for a little swim from both sides here. Don't really know how they're falling off the map, but all right. 
Yeah, it does look like they kind of just are accidentally jumping off, not really understanding where the ledge is. Uh, you know, Bulldog's lost Ricochet, but he should be able to regroup in time here. He is coming back from spawn right now. Uh, problem is that the other team has a bigger spawn advantage, so when you even lose one person, you're going to be down for a little bit uh, here uh, defense on point A. But defense on point A is so good that, uh, you know, you, get, you give Telos the opportunity here, especially on a map like Rialto. This is a Widow Paradise. Yeah, I love Widow. <laughs> Tell us does a really good at showing why mm. Widow's very good on this map. Jeez, like, like, like we just said, Tell us making some huge plays, as well as Ricochet getting nano boosted. He's, he even takes down the tank. Ricochet is taking down the Hanzo. Bride taking down Zarya. Bulldogs, we get a huh. great hold here. Yeah, Bulldog's making a great hold until Telos died, uh, which was super unfortunate, obviously. Ooh. But, I mean, you should have been spectating Telos there. He was just getting headshot after headshot. Two Can't headshots. figure out which F key it is. <laughs> No, yep, I don't know what F key it is. Uh, I'd have to actually go into my settings. So, um... It I, is... Well... 12. <laughs> for, wait, there we for go. What? Oh, for, for, Telos. for Telos? Yeah, it's 12. Yep, you just look at the top. So, F1 is, is uh home and uh f6 is blade oh okay yep, that yep, makes yep. sense wonder coming in with the big dragons killing adam uh telos getting a pick on wonder though so um wonder dying right after the dragons getting released uh you know telos is still up there on the high ground the bullock should be able to recontest this their spawn's gonna be a little closer now um bry getting a huge barrage on the enemy widow you know if if um this was a little bit higher tier like maybe top 500 play that's not something you ever want to do the zen should never be dueling the widow like that but if bry knows he can get away with it he's gonna get away with it uh it does look like the bullets are gonna lose ricochet really early he plays a little too aggressive but the enemy reinhardt is nanoed but getting slept, which is going to be huge. Bry popping his transcendence in the process here to prevent this grab from really kind of doing its work. Uh, Bry cycling around trying to duel this enemy Zenyatta, um, but he's got a widow right on him and an Ana, so it does look like the blood is going to lose a lot here uh, as Telos finally dies. Yeah, you could see Telos was diving the site to try to stall as much as he could, but in the end, he went up to try to take out the supports. But yeah, it looks like Illinois did get the point. Bulldog's having to reset here, but making very good time. 57 seconds left. Yeah, Bulldog's doing a good job here. Or, uh, my bad, three Wait. minutes. I was yeah, well, they're the gonna have, time. yeah, they have three yep. minutes, yeah. Bulldog's actually didn't do too bad there not running that Orisa comp. Uh, expected a little worse, to be honest, running that Reinhardt over in Orisa. So, uh, definitely impressed there. Bulldog's uh, coming through here still with this this uh, Roadhog Reinhardt composition, not something we're really used to as the Shatter comes through, but not getting oh. anybody. And he dies as he tries to truck. <laughs> Charge through oh, in the process. Oh, the Shatter taking down the Hanzo and the Anna, doing well, but the Transcendence will be saving them. Yeah, Ricochet, Ricochet making a huge charge, taking down the Hanzo, Ooh. as well as a, a kind of a wasted Nano? Uh, I think it's just to keep him alive, right? Yeah, so you can use Nano to uh, heals about 300 health and then makes them more damage resistant. The problem was the enemy Ana then proceeded to buy a grenade him, so the uh, you know Ricochet really wasn't able to get any healing then from Wolf in the process as well. So they just kind of forced a bunch of damage on him, but thankfully Ricochet was able to back up enough and uh, you know put that shield up in time, and Wolf was able to get some healing on as the Illinois didn't want to play too aggressive there for that fight. Does look like the grab's coming in. Oh, what grab a huge dragons. grab and. Uh, dragons uh, making huge plays of course wonders the one geez. to use the dragons to capitalize on all of it telos just might wow. might win this by himself here does look like he's get, got two big picks but he does look like he gets he gets flanked there by that zenyatta a little bit of joe <laughs> play coming out of uh of adam Monty. types in chat wonder i hate you oh <laughs> he says pretty me accurate too. <laughs> pretty accurate yeah that grab dragons was was really gross so, you know that's a that's a a very classic combo we're we're used to seeing um, in in Overwatch. I remember before goats was really kind of a thing. Uh, Ricochet and I used to just run around and quick play and just try to see if we could get team kills or not with it. Um, you know, as long as the enemy team doesn't have a Diva or a Zen, which Bry had just used his Transcendence really recently, so he didn't have it back again. There's really no counter to it, um, so, uh, unless you have Beat. But even Beat can get uh, drowned it out from Grab Dragons if it's done right. So it does look like Telos picks off the enemy Widow and Wonder picks off Ricochet. Yeah, it's a little trade action going on. Looks like Jeez. Telos will be taking down Zarya oh, as my well. Goodness. And the Zen! He's going off. Bry making some huge plays on the Hanzo as well. That's going but to the highlight reel. Oh my goodness. Bulldogs are, <laughs> Bulldogs are capitalizing on a lot of these kills, which is insane. Bulldogs are doing very well. A minute left for Illinois to try to get that second point. Hopefully the Bulldogs can get this hold. 
I think the really good thing I can do right now Ooh. is just leave it on. Oh, Bry getting picked off from the enemy widow. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. If an enemy wid or a widow should always be able to win a duel against a Zenyatta. Uh, Telos getting a big pick on the enemy Ana, putting some pressure on that Reinhardt as well. You know, he could get that pick on that Zen. That could be that could be a win uh, for the Bulldogs here. You can see Milk up top. He, I think he has a grab. He's sitting up top to try to get them all trapped here. You can here. see I don't think on the top know. right. What? The top right. <laughs> you can see their ultimate charge. Oh, okay. Milk has Milk the did grab. Have it. I think he was, oh, he he was sitting up there to try to use it, but he did get taken down. Bulldogs are going to have to try to hold this. Tello's making some huge plays on his end. Bry's sitting up top to try to take down that Widow, but it's not going to happen. The grab, the grab coming in. Huge oh, plays grab with dragons. the Grab Dragons as well. Bulldogs are going to have to try to hold this as much as they can. Adam is knocked down by the Shatter and Ricochet, or Ricochet, the Ryan taken down, as well as the Widow. Bulldogs are capitalizing on these huge plays here. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. The grab coming in, but now the enemy Zen finally able to recontest with this fight. They needed that grab. Illinois needed that grab for that uh, that defense there, and they really weren't able to get it. So now he gets oh, taken out. Charge. Yeah, definitely huge stuff. Tell us playing super aggressive, sitting on a cart, making sure they don't get that cap off. As Zarya comes in and starts to pressure him, the Zarya's flanking. The enemy team has a Doom Fist now as well. So does look like the Bulldogs might be able to win this now with Bryke pulling out this Transcendence so they can just focus fire on somebody, but it doesn't look like they're able to do so as milks on this Hammond not able to do as much damage as he wants but he's able to zone people off with this oh no the Doomfist upsetting his spin his rotation the flow of Hammond does look like Ricochet is going to be able to charge in as well as they can force everybody <laughs> off the point there's a stream happening from both sides here Bulldogs <laughs> streaming in one by one Illinois streaming in one by one the dragons are going to push Bulldogs completely off the point yeah and it does look like they're going to be able to cap oh. they only have a minute 30 though so that's going to be really good for the Bulldogs here as they go for this defense now so so, um, you know, they're going to have this nice close spawn. The enemy team doesn't have as close a spawn once they get up to this uh, this streetway right here. So, uh, let's see what the Bulldogs can do here. Now, Telus is on Hanzo. Let's see what his Hanzo plays like. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs are going to be kind of aggressive here. Can't hide behind that gate. So, they will be trying to take down some huge plays. A lot of alts coming in for Bulldog's side here. So, we will see a good, a, like, good hold. 55 seconds left. Yeah, Bry getting a big pick on Wonder, but the most of the Bulldogs getting grabbed in the process. The Shatter coming through, but Ricochet was able to block it as the Reinhardt got pushed up into the air. It gave him a lot of time. Adam getting very low himself. He needs to heal as Ricochet uh, and Telus are kind of the only ones on point, but Telus is getting super pressured. Does look like he gets flanked by the Doomfist. The Bulldogs are, gonna be, are, are in a lot of trouble here. Yep, yeah, Bulldogs are in very big trouble. Spell, especially since Ricochet died way off away from everybody. Milk is the only one to challenge it. Oh. Looks like they will be pushing it, but it's hard to tell. Bulldogs are on it, and then Illinois is on it. Transcendence coming in huge plays for Illinois, and as well as a nano boost coming from the Bulldog side on the Doomfist, making a lot of damage here with nine seconds left. Illinois is going to have to charge this, otherwise they will be losing. Yeah, it it does, like I don't think they're going to be able to touch Illinois it. Illinois is alive, and he will be taken down. Looks like Bulldogs are will be winning. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah, definitely the Bulldog's going to be coming through with that win there. Uh, spectating Bry just for a few seconds here, as a Zenyatta main myself. Uh, heal. Heal, Bry. Heal, because you wouldn't have lost your Zarya. Okay, that's all. That's all I'm going to go with. <laughs> or whoever that was. I don't even know who it was. They, he, he watched somebody die because he didn't heal him because he was trying to kill somebody else in the process. This is the Wonders. Uh, definitely a gross drab, Dragons. Um, it's just a disrespect. Uh, if he had killed Telos in the process, oh, that would have been... That would have been really good. Uh, does look like the Bulldogs are going to be, um, as we as we come back out of that scrimmage, Bulldogs did lose at the end of the day, though. 0-2, that was a friendly scrimmage uh, on their last map there on Rialto. So uh, kind of unfortunate there that the Bulldogs, um, you know, they won that map, but the map didn't matter. <laughs> Still with me, Unknown? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, very unfortunate for uh, the Bulldogs, for sure, to go 0-2. That map was very interesting to see. Too bad, yes, it didn't count. But I'm excited for the second match. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm really excited for the second match as well. I think the Bulldogs have a good opportunity here to, uh, you know, kind of show... Uh, what am I saying? They lost that last map. They need to prove themselves. What am I yes. saying? They need to prove themselves. They don't have a good opportunity to show. They need to show, dang it. Um, 
they could have won that. I think they could have beat Illinois. Uh, there's no reason they couldn't have. And um, I don't think there's been a week where the Bulldogs have won a game and lost a game. I don't think they've split it all. Or no, they did. They split one week. Um, so it's either they lose both maps or they win both maps. And I think they can they can split. I think they can do it. They have the uh, the they have the willpower to do. It. I think they do. Um, you know, I think the the fact that they didn't practice this week is really kind of showing in their play. There's a little bit of sloppy play, some miscommunication. Um, I think a lot of it's them trying to get warmed up, getting back into the flow of playing again. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, that win on that last map wasn't necessarily because um, – that it was just like the third map and it really didn't matter and I hope it was just the fact that they're okay now we're actually warmed up we're we're, we're used to playing together and now we're gonna we're gonna put our foot down on the next on the next map here and it's gonna be or next match and it's gonna be against a team called Becker College the the Becker Heat Wave so uh, and that's gonna be at 9:30 so we're gonna see you guys um you know back at 9:30 and unknown uh before we go uh we have a big event kind of coming up here on saturday i don't know if you want to want to talk about that real quick for us um yeah so this saturday <clears throat> december 1st mind you there is a lan event for ferris esports i don't know if you're signed up or not it is in the announcements if you're wanting to it is free to sign up you just have to make an account free sign up you choose your seat and you show up and the it's it's fun. It's a straight from I believe, uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but I believe it's nine a.m. to nine p.m. on Saturday. It is definitely twelve and hours. I know that. Yes, it is twelve hours, and it is it's a lot of fun. I went to the last one they held, and I can for Segled, which was a uh, it which has a hundred person land coming up in April. If you're interested in that. Oh wow! But yeah, so this land is going to be a maximum of forty people. But I hope to see a room full of 40 people. So if you're not signed up now, please go check that out in the Discord in the announcements. And if you're not in our Discord, check us out. Join the Discord. You get in the Discord. If you're a fair student, feel free to join our Discord. Just message somebody on Facebook who's a part of the RSO, and uh, they'll send you a little invite or get a hold of somebody at the, the e-board or come to our meetings, uh, which are on Tuesdays at uh, 8.30, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Tuesdays at 8.30. I don't go to them because I live far away. Uh, but, uh, you know, Bulldogs are uh, going to be coming back here at 9.30 against Becker College. And uh, we'll see you guys then.